Hi, Dr. Q here from Star Nursery. One of the biggest contributors to plant stress in the Southwest desert is our alkalinity and high pH in the soil and water. Soil pH measures how acidic or alkali the soil is. The pH scale is 0 to 14 with 7.0 being neutral. On this scale, numbers that are higher represent alkaline soils and lower numbers represent acidic soils. For good growth and development, most plants need a soil pH of 6.0 to 7.5. Typical native soil here in the desert southwest will have a pH around 8.2. This alkalinity has the capacity to bind up the nutrients in your soil and not release them to your plants. Consequently, the plants suffer from the lack of various nutrients no matter how much you try to give them. It's very similar to swimming pool maintenance when you have to keep the pH of the water at a certain level in order for the chemicals to react. If the pH is too high or too low, the chemical reactions can't take place. People from the eastern states have to deal with acidic soils with a lower pH and have to amend them with products like lime to raise the pH. Here in the west, we have the opposite situation in that our soils are alkaline with a high pH. Sulfur or other acidifiers should be used as a soil amendment here to lower our pH. Incorporating sulfur into the soil is the safest and least expensive way but also the slowest. You have to wait for the soil bacteria to change the sulfur into sulfuric acid, neutralizing soil alkalinity. Organic mulch or compost also works well as it breaks down into humic acid. These products work best if you are at the very beginning of your project so you can physically mix them well into the soil. For established gardens and landscapes, there are products that will work much quicker to help the severe alkaline problems. Products that will help reduce alkalinity are Congro, Alkaleach, and other soil acidifiers like Fertilome Soil Acidifier Plus Iron. Now on sale this week for just $6.99 in a 32 ounce bottle. In small beds and garden areas, you can also add sphagnum moss, which will help lower the pH when mixed with your soil. Changing the pH of your alkaline soil is necessary for your plants to stay healthy and well nourished and soil amendments should be added at least twice a year to maintain the proper pH level. Attend our free seminar on fall rose gardening at 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. Saturday, September 3rd at All Star locations. Remember, I make house calls. Call 702-771-7827 to make an appointment. I'm Dr. Q and I'll see you next week.